Tutti mi chiedono, tutti mi vogliono. Oh, looking good. Nice and Porsche. I'll lay them on for us. Show us, uh, show us what we're working with. Decent venue for a reveal of a car, isn't it? Car's the right color too. Red. Red. How many red cars have you owned? Uh, about 50. <laughs> So we get those satin finished wheels in black. Yeah, lower right height. It's definitely more aggressive and lower. Red stitching on the inside. But if, but if you look, everything's black and red. Tail lights, I've got the black tail lights look. Are blacked out. Yeah, black wheels, black inlets. I love the little wing. And the front light again with the black finish. Look at that. <sighs> Alcantara. Grippier, drier. If you even the wheel yep. holds you in place in the seat, the steering wheel. It, it's just it's easier to grip. I, I, I just I love that tactile feel of it. This is a bit of me right here, the open top car. Yeah, well, the hair. They'll get the hair going, hey, that's pot and kettle right there, old son. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> right, enough talking, let's drive. <laughs> I should ride with you, is what I should do to get a real lesson. Remember, this is not a race. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, right. It's always a race. all the controls are weighted the same as well to allow you to exploit that balance. There's nothing that feels out of kilter. It all feels like a jigsaw puzzle that just that fits together. Now this thing feels like it can take a pounding, you know, on these types of roads or on the racetrack or whatever, and just keep rewarding you with more fun. You know, one of the, the, the things that I'm noticing straight away is how adjustable the, the car is. If you're on the brake pedal, you can really control the attitude of the car, control if you've got a little bit of understeer, you can get the nose to tuck in, and then just playing with the throttle as well. With 365 horsepower, that's 15 up on the S. It's, it's a fair old jump percentage-wise, and you can really feel it. The car pulls all the way to the top, and it's got a 7,400 red line. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like it's straining up there. It just wants to keep pulling and... It's fast. Yes. You know, but it's confidence inspiring. I, I love this, this is great. Torque! Oh man! It's awesome. Even in sport, I mean, the shifts are just fantastic. Up and down, I love the, the burble on the overrun. Uh, I guess we're just kids, it makes a lovely noise and that GTS exhaust on it is, uh, is fantastic. <laughs> it just puts a smile on my face. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now we're talking. You know, we've talked about all the dynamics and all this sort of technical stuff that we love to get into. It's just a fun car. This is messing my hair up. I've never been able to drive a, a car before the journalist, before I see it in the magazine. To do it here, in, in Sicily, on the way to the Targa Florio course. Are you getting a little bit of uh, goosebumps, kind of like nostalgic? I am. Because I am. I, all right, CJ, I love the Boxster, but I want to go to the Cayman, so can we swap? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down to swap. Perfect. that sign back there we are actually now on the track we're on the Targa Florio track this is incredible oh my word what a road well we've we've tasted it and we've we've driven it I mean this this is the Targa Florio I, the only thing I can think of is it reminds me of maybe the, the Nürburgring or something how wild yeah. it is I have had a blast I, I feel incredibly fortunate enough to drive the 718 60 years after some of our heroes drove the 718 here and really started to make the Porsche name. I just want to stay and keep driving though. Well, they got to catch us, right? If they're going to, we're going to give the cars back. Good point. How far is it to Rome from here? <laughs> <laughs>